Hello once again on this series or the chapter of the series we are gonna go for the most weighted um, user interface part now this one is actually related to the inventory but first of all I'm gonna go into the widgets how the widgets operate and I'm not gonna do that in C++ way I'm gonna go for the blueprint way and just for us to see what are the capabilities of um, the widgets and um, when you're dealing with widgets you might also hear UMG I do not know what is like um, the approbation of what is UMG I can't remember that but something like um, user modifiable graph or something I don't know I'm just making assumptions and I also should state that um, due to health reasons I am on some medication right now so my head is a bit blurry so um, the way I speak will be even more unbearable on these episodes so let's get into it first um, what we are gonna do is we are gonna go for a simple um, sprint bar um, on one of my previous videos you might have seen um, the bar on the right side that um, there was a bar that was decreasing as I was sprinting and getting full on so we will make that thing first of all but we will do it with blueprints and we will just involve C++ after we grasp um, what we can actually do with um, the widgets so let's just begin first of all I'm gonna go for content and make a new folder basically um, you're seeing a lot of things and these are um, the contents that I purchased from um, the marketplace or if I'm I did not purchase they are just free things so I just made a UI and now I'm just gonna add something new and under user interface you can see widget blueprint so let's just go for it and um, since this is something temporary I'm just gonna name this um, UI just being random so let's just get into it and now we got this bar let's just explore what we have over here um, what are the controls because this is just not the um, usual thing we have so basically what we have is it just widget layout transform uh, snapping tools and stuff here is screen size fill screen stuff so basically um, let's just go for this over here it says um, it just shows you the screen sizes right now on default I have uh, 720p HDTV Blu-ray ticked and um, this is just not something really really uh, crucial for us because as far as I know this will just adjust itself uh, depending on the resolution we have and this fill screen is what our content is gonna be placed into so right now when I see fill screen let's just go back since it's fill screen um, the widget we are gonna use will be from um, the top left corner to bottom right corner meaning um, what we will place will be placed on the actual screen we can just make it smaller so that um, we can just limit the place we are gonna place our content to let's just begin with fill screen on the left side we have our tools and um, these tools provides it provide us different things so let's just read it there's a border um, self-explanatory it will just give us a border if you want to place something we will just cover it with border and it will have some stuff let's just drag and drop and over here on the right side 
on the details, we can just um, edit this to basically um, this brush thing over here will just be a image, an image to basically if we want to um, if we want to make some good looking stuff we just need to cover things with borders so if I want to make like um, let's just say it's a health bar and I want swirly stuff around my um, health bar I can just uh, draw something over here on Photoshop or any other um, image editing tool and place this just over my actual content and it will just give us something so this is just not something functional but rather um, for visuals let's just delete this we got a button and button is self-explanatory as well um, whenever we press it it will just do something there will be um, a function that we can bind to it and um, also it has stuff like whenever you hover on it change um, how it looks and whenever you press change its looks um, stuff like that I am not exactly sure but um, this functionality can be placed into other stuff like if you make something like text you can actually make something like um, whenever you click or press on the text um, change its visuals or something like that I am not exactly sure if that is true but as far as I know that also is possible by the way that sound will just keep coming um, as you see unclicked unpressed and unreleased um, events are there for us to bind it to something okay deleting it this is a checkbox and um, you know what it does it's just a checkbox and when we check it we will change um, a property to true and then um, after we check it we can just um, after we press the button we will just make something happen image is an image I'm not gonna go deeper into it so uh, I'm just gonna go for events and says on mouse button down so basically what it says is whenever we press on it something happens so this is basically what I told you um, like it can operate as a button but it doesn't have at least for now on release or stuff like that maybe if we can just add those stuff into this too um, I want to remove it. yeah yeah name slot so um, this is I believe something like a tag so um, we place it on somewhere and place other stuff under it so that like this column indicates um, the item name and this column indicates the crap materials we need stuff like that so it is just for categorizing reasons uh, progress bar this is the bar I did my um, sprint bar with and um, we will just use this one to get that um, simple sprint power bar um, slider just like volume you drag it and depending on its value stuff changes uh, text is just a text so we can actually modify what it says with um, binding it to a function let's just come over here it says text block when I change this to um, hello it becomes hello and we can just make this something dynamic like um, we can just make it print our health or um, we can just make give it complicated functions to change what it actually writes to us and a text box this is um, a text box that allows the user to write something into how you will say let's say 
we want to create a character we can um, give the character its name from over here I believe I'm not 100% sure with this let's just remove this and go on um, we got input over here and we got combo box so this is those combo boxes or like multi select lists that um, once you click you get the options so this one could be used for um, selecting the sound output device for the options on the um, most simple way to put it or we can pick gender for our characters stuff like that but you know uh, our genders will be fixed on this game so um, it's just out of the topic spin box it is um, once you click on it when you drag your mouse button uh, mouse right or left the value changes just like you see it over here slider when I change it, the value changes exactly this one. And text box multi line. This is more of a free text for um, just like text box over here, but it supports multi line too. So it is more or less for stuff like description. Okay, after we go for uh, optimization, invalidation box is over here. Now, um, to be honest, I don't know what this actually does, but following the name, um, we just check um, if the inputs are valid with this one. I, again, I'm not exactly sure, but probably it can be something like um, whenever we want to make our character, it just warns us saying um, you need to choose a character name, something like that. By the way, this can be done with other ways, like whenever you press apply button, it can also validate on the background and prompt you an error in case there is something invalid. But again, this is just an assumption. So we go for panel. Or maybe I should um, start with primitive circular throbber so basically um, this is just a gif that um, shows you okay loading something like that and doesn't really have something special but um, you can just edit it by um, changing the values over here but consider it like visuals so throbber again something like that um, they are almost the exact same editable text um, this is something similar to I'm just not gonna go deep into it so the panel part is actually uh, the part that gives us um, the categorization or the good looking thing um, the thing that gives you some good look so let's just go for horizontal box I um, increase it and start adding stuff to it okay text box text box text box and it might just not be visible but I actually have three text boxes over here and it basically placed three text boxes in a row so now what happens is um, I can just add things and it will just order them and what else um, it will just keep them on the spot so that when you want to move something you can move them all together or um, how can I put it make them adjust to a set length so that they are not, you don't have to adjust them one by one things like that <laughs> that's the most simple way I can express it so I think this is all oh before like I'm getting to the end of it there's stuff like animations but I'm not gonna go for an animation right now because it will be pointless because I don't really have something made yet so I can show you how the animations work so on the next video I'm just gonna make that sprint bar see you for now